Let's look at the phase change, liquid water going to gaseous water, and see if we can determine what a plot of standard state free energy versus temperature looks like. Now remember, standard state with this little degree sign, that means all gases are present at one atmosphere of pressure. If there's a concentration, it's one molar. Liquids and solids are present in their pure state. So with that in mind, which of these is a plot of standard state free energy versus temperature for H2O liquid going to H2O gas. Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, water always boils, so delta G standard should always be negative. B, the liquid is more stable at low temperatures, so delta G should be less than zero, and the gas has a higher entropy, so delta G should be greater than zero. Or C, the reaction is more favorable at higher temperatures, so there delta G should be less than zero, and delta G should be greater than zero at low temperatures. Think about those three possible explanations and make a selection. We're talking about the liquid to gas phase change for water, trying to plot the free energy in the standard state versus temperature. So if you look at this, standard state free energy is the standard state enthalpy minus T delta S. So in this reaction, a gas is produced, so the system entropy increases. Delta S is greater than zero. If you look at this in terms of a line, this looks like y equals mx plus b, the standard situation for a straight line, has a slope determined by, in this case, delta s, and an intercept determined by delta h. So if delta s is positive, the slope of this system must be negative because there's a negative sign there. So this slope must be negative. So let's see, we've got negative slope here, negative slope here, so that eliminates B. Delta H positive, it's an endothermic physical process. We know that. In order for liquid water to go to gaseous water, we have to absorb energy. Absorbing energy, that's a positive delta H. That says the intercept of this line must be positive. So now between C and A, here we have a negative intercept. So C is the only answer. N positive intercept and a negative slope. So C is the correct answer here. You also could have come across this at a different, uh, from a different perspective. You could have said, well, water, liquid water going to gaseous water, that's favorable at high temperatures. I know that. The higher temperature you go, the more gas is favored. So one atmosphere, because we're talking about standard state, one atmosphere of gas is favored at higher temperatures. So delta G should be negative at higher temperatures. And the lower the temperature, the liquid should be favored. So delta G should be positive. And that's what you have here. Low temperatures, positive delta G. High temperatures, negative delta G. And that's the only situation where that's true. So two ways to arrive at answer C.